Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own favorite tags or thank you tags in Silhouette Studio. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello my name is Sam and welcome to the Ellie Rose Party Designs community. We will talk about everything to do with party decorations in Silhouette Studio, in Photoshop, in PicMonkey, in Canva and soon I will be launching how to how to launch and create your online business from scratch, selling digital products. All right, without further ado, let's get started. We're going to be learning about how you can make your own favorite tags or thank you tags in Silhouette Studio. Now, I do have a template that I'll be using, which you can find in the link in the description box. Alrighty, so if you are new to Silhouette Studio, um, please feel free to check out some more previous videos that I have made um, using Silhouette Studio so you can kind of catch yourself up to how to actually uh, make this. So this isn't a really a beginner's tutorial but more just a tutorial on how you can actually use my templates. Okay, um, so to get started you need to obviously download your template. Once you've done that you need to drag your template into your Silhouette Studio and create yourself a little folder. Um, once again, I will link down below the video that I did previously to this one on how I made water bottle labels. So feel free to check that one out because that will also give you a little bit more of an insight into how to make the, you uh, how to use these templates. Okay, so I save all my templates under a section called templates and shapes, and they will be underneath here. All right, what I haven't done it yet because I thought I would show you how to do it too. So let's find my templates. Okay, so with the thank you tags or the favorite tags, it's pretty much just one um, PNG file that I will be supplying you. And it's going to look like this here once you've downloaded it. So all I'm going to do is click that and I'm going to drag that into my folder. And there it is there. All right, and then all I'm going to do is right click that and I'm going to open it into a canvas, which is just over here, and there it is there. So I'm just going to bring you to the side because you're not really going to be able to see it because everything is white. All right, so the first thing I am going to do is to decide on what colors or what, if I'm going to use a clip art or am I going to use a, um, a digital paper, what am I going to use? All right, so... First things first, I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to click and drag all the way around my paper or canvas as I call it. Now, let's just change the color to that first of all. There it is there. Let's go here and I'm just going to change it to this red for now. All right, if your canvas doesn't look anything like mine, um, Go to your page setup and click on the size of paper that you're wanting and then your orientation, make sure that it is at a portrait size. Okay, so if you click and drag this, let's right click and bring to the front. You can kind of get the idea of what I am going with. Okay, and there it is there. All right. So you just got a picture that this is where you, so it's going to be printed out exactly like this, and this is where you're going to be cutting it out. So these templates are pretty much just like a framework, you can say, to um, designing your um, your thank you tags. Okay, so I actually want to change this orientation to the other direction. Okay, so let's bring you in there. All right, and there we go. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is pretty much add in my my font and my pretty much just going to add in my font and my clip art. So let's go in here and find the clip art we're wanting to use. I am just going to stick with the um, superhero theme. 
let's go over here and find something. You know, I'm just going to go with Spider-Man. Open. There he is there. Right click. Cut. Let's go back here. And paste him in there. So, let's see how he's going to fit in here. All right, now don't forget that this is obviously going to go behind, all right? So let's right click and duplicate. Right click, duplicate. Okay, um, and I might just keep going with you. Um, so I won't do all of them, I'll just do a few of them so you can kind of get the idea on how to use it. All right. So now that you have done that, let's add in our fonts so, or our writing. So all I'm going to pretty much put is, let's just use, um, so let's change the color to say black. And I want my border to pretty much be white. And I want to make that a little bit more thicker. Okay, so let's go over here and pop in Cody. Oh, no, sorry, this is a thank you text. Let's go, thank you for coming to my party. Whatever you want to put. So let's just change the um, it to be in the middle like that. And then I'm just wanting to obviously drag you make you a lot smaller and yeah, let's pop you in there now as you can see that you can't really see the black so let's just make that I think what we can do is let's just make it a black all right and we're going to do an offset around it instead so let's go here to the offset and I push something I shouldn't have let's just go back Um, Alright, so we've got it black. Let's now change the thing to have an offset around it. And I'm wanting to change the offset to say 50. Hit apply. But let's change the color of that to white and see how that looks. Alright, that looks a lot better. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is click onto you, right click and duplicate. What I should have done is highlight both of them, group it together. Okay, so let's take you out. So now that it's, it's grouped together, it's kind of um, stuck together, the offset and the, um, the thank you for coming to our parties together. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry, let's just go back. Okay, so what I would do is just remove all of that. Let's just move you to the side and all I want to do is to click on to Highlight all of you and group you together. And group you together. All right, so now that should all be one layer. Okay, so let's just bring you back in. Pop you back in there too. Move you back to where you want it. All right, and then this is, so you can pretty much just do this on the side first. And then bring it in. Okay, I'm kind of doing it the difficult way around, but you get the idea of where I'm going with it. All right, so right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate. All right, however many times you want to do it, let's pop it in there, let's pop you in there. And you can pretty much say whatever you want to. You can obviously put it from the child, have the child's name on there, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Okay, but the main thing is to kind of use the template as a guide. Pop in your clip art and your fonts. Now what I'm going to do is click onto my actual template. 
right click that and bring to the front. So as you can see now, it's kind of moved everything behind it. So it looks more like a thank you tag. All right. So once you're happy with whatever it is that you're wanting to use, all you're going to then do is highlight absolutely everything and let's group it together. So now it is one whole layer. All right. So pop that back where you want it. And then all you're going to then do is right, uh, sorry, file and print out your template. Okay. The one thing you can't really do with these templates is, um, well, you can kind of, but, um, so the one thing you can't do with these templates is to actually um, cut them with your Silhouette Studio um, cutting machine, so your Cameo, whatever it is you've got. So if you go here and you go to send, it can't recognize where it needs to cut. So if you say cut edge, it's pretty much just going to cut the border around it. All right. So the only way you can really use this as a template to cut on is by, let's go back here. Let's ungroup that. Ungroup. Let's just take all of you and move you to the side. Pop you back in there. Now, if you if you um, select it and you go into send and you go cut, yeah, all right. So you're not going to be able to cut it with your silhouette cameo. So if that's why you want to purchase it, so that you can um, cut it with your cameo, unfortunately, these templates you can only pretty much cut by hand. Okay, um, but that is pretty much it. So it's a matter of just designing how you want to use the template as a guide, but behind your clip art and your, um, your font. And then once you're happy with the way it is, then bring that template to the front, group it together and file, save it and print it out. Okay, it's super easy. Once you know what 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 um, clip art you're going to be using and what font you're going to be using, alrighty. So that is pretty much it with this tutorial. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comment sec section down below this video if you have any questions. Otherwise, feel free to give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.